What's up everybody? I felt compelled this morning to do a quick little video on three or four maybe, I don't know, a couple different ways for you to think about putting in a garden. If you're thinking about putting in a garden, there's lots of choices. We've got a couple different methods, you know, in practice here and I wanted to show them to you and give you some advice on which ones I like and why I like them and what's different about each system. So that's what's coming up next. Okay, um, so the third method is growing in ground. Okay, so just you know, you have a piece of ground and you decided, I want to grow food there. How do you do that? Um, there's lots of ways. I mean, you can find all sorts of videos on YouTube. What I do is pretty simple. I just kind of define a bed. I add soil amendments to it and create paths in between. So I'm just going to turn here slightly past the new greenhouse that's slowly getting put together. Okay, and here you can see my example of that. Let me turn the camera around and we'll take a look. Okay, so these areas, and it extends up there behind the greenhouse, <clears throat> these areas were basically just weedy, messy nothingness. Now, I may regret it because we may end up finding morning glory trying to establish in here. I know that there's morning glory up there by the rabbits. So I've mentally prepared myself for the fight that I know this will be. Um, but you can see that the concept here is similar to the food forest area in that there are defined beds and defined walking paths. I mulched all of the walking paths with the same hay waste to try to help control weeds. And then all that we did was go through with the rototiller and turn the soil and then add in um, whatever organic amendments I could find. And I, this entire bed was done at zero cost. Like we didn't buy anything yet. Um, so these have been filled with silage top and manure from the feedlot down at my father-in-law's place and some hay and just all sorts of different organic things that we just tilled into this soil. Now it needs some time to sort of season. And so it's, it's down here soaking up all the water from the rain and kind of letting the worms and the soil organisms figure out what's in there and do its thing. That sounds horrible, I'm sorry. Um, but these beds are plantable. These spaces are going to be hot for growing um, and what that means is that the the soil is going to be very very rich because of all of the manure and silage top and other things that I put into it um, so I'm going to have to be careful about what I grow in these spaces but you can kind of get the idea of what's in here and you can also see right here like, where the path stops like this is what this was like I can see bindweed right there and there's some cheat grass and all sorts of different weeds, some bachelor button and dandelions, just tons of weeds. And obviously they're growing like crazy over there, helping feed our rabbits. But, you know, I just covered it. Like the only difference between this space and that space, literally, is that space is covered in hay. That's it, that's the only difference. Mulched heavily and the weeds will have a hard time and when they start to poke through, they should be easy enough to pull out and keep in check. So that's gonna be the plan down here. We'll try it and see how it works. Rabbit, <laughs> holy cow, brother. Calm down, dude, what's your deal? I'm not hurting you, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> holy moly. All I needed was some shade so I could film, dude. Simmer down. <laughs> he just kind of had a little spaz attack. Anyway, um, I had to get down here in the shade of this nectarine tree so the sun wasn't in my face. So that's my third method right there, is growing in the ground. 
okay? It's the more traditional way, it's the standard, it's the way my grandma taught me when I was a kid, you know, was you take the ground that you have, you improve it, you put amendments in it, you till it all up, plant some stuff, and it will grow. Okay, we're gonna try that this year in this space. We'll keep you updated as best we can on how all of that goes. But that's the third method, is in-ground planting.